How dangerous is a Flaps 3 landing on an Airbus A320? Let's have a look. This is a purely technical video, not meant to go against anyone. All I'm trying to tell you here is how dangerous Flaps 3 are. Before we get started, one thing you need to understand is what exactly are flaps. So flaps are extensions on the wing which come out when the pilot selects the lever in the cockpit. When the flaps come out, the lift being produced by the wing increases and so does the drag. The flaps help a pilot and the airplane fly at a slower speed than normal. So the higher the flap setting, the lower is your speed for approach as well as for your takeoff. Keep that in mind, this is going to be important. On the Airbus A320, flap positions are as follows. First is flap 0, which basically means no flaps or absolutely clean wing. Then you have flaps 1, flaps 1 plus F, flaps 2, flaps 3 and finally flaps full. Today's video is going to tell you about how flaps 3 landings are very dangerous. This is going to be a purely technical video. I'm gonna put some numbers in front of you. I'm gonna show you some documentation from Airbus and from Airport Authority of India. So all of the data that we're using today is verified, is provided by operators and regulators. Let's get started. So today we're gonna be analyzing two airports. One is Imphal and one is Ranchi. These are comparatively shorter runway airports as in the runway length which is available for a landing airplane is not very long as compared to some other airports such as Delhi or Jaipur. The runway lengths available at these airports are all given in the AIP. AIP stands for Aeronautical Information Publication. It is a publication which is issued by Airport Authority of India. It has all the information about all the airports in India and the data that you're seeing on your screen right now has been derived from the AIP. First, let's talk about Imphal. Now, as you can see, the landing distance available at Imphal as declared by the Airport Authority of India is 2746 meters. So 2.746 kilometers of the runway is available if any airplane wants to land into Imphal. We're going to be talking about runway 04 in Imphal because that's the runway which has ILS or that is the runway which is mostly used for landings. Now what you're seeing on your screen is the landing distance calculation table. This table is a part of the quick reference handbook which is nothing more than a book which is placed in the cockpit. It has a few checklists and amongst those one of the things available is this table. It is used by us pilots to calculate how much runway is required for an airplane to come to a complete stop. On this table, there are a lot of corrections and a lot of technical terms. I'll not go through each and every technical term because that will make the video too long. But I will tell you the important ones. So on the top, as you can see, the reference distance is considering sea level conditions in ISA. No winds are assumed, no slope, no thrust reversals. It is not an automatic landing and there is no speed correction. Using these conditions, we are given a reference distance. On the left side of the table, you can see the braking mode. So braking mode is basically the Airbus A320 has automatic braking. So the pilot does not have to manually apply the brakes upon landing. The aircraft will automatically brake. There are two settings available. One is low and one is medium. For this particular case, we will assume medium brakes have been used. The next column states the landing configuration, which is the topic of our discussion today. So as you can see, it states full and three, which are the two possible landing flap configurations on the Airbus A320. In the next table, we have the reference distance in meters. So this much distance is required to stop the aircraft on the runway. The remaining tables are for corrections for weight, speed, altitude, wind, temperature, slope, thrust reversals and overweight landing. We will apply all of these corrections. We will calculate how much distance is required to stop the aircraft on the runway using flaps 3 and using flaps full. We will then compare these calculated required distances with what is available at Ranchi and at Imphal. So what we're doing once again is calculating how much distance is required to stop on the runway and then we will compare that required distance with what is actually available at the two airports that we're considering today. The margin that is left is basically the additional part of the runway which is available and which is not used. Just a small point I would like to put in, flaps 3 landing produces less drag 
and as a result saves some amount of fuel it's very negligible per flight you save about 8 kgs of fuel if you land with flaps 3 but you use a bit more of the runway if you land with flaps full you burn those 8 extra kgs of fuel but you require a little less of the runway so flaps 3 gives you a longer run on the runway but better fuel savings flaps full burns more fuel but requires less of the runway today we're going to be comparing how much less runway is required when we use flaps full so as you can see the reference distance for auto brakes medium and configuration full is 1370 meters now let's apply all the corrections and see how much distance is required if we land with flaps full and auto brakes medium. Weight correction will be zero because we are assuming that we are landing at our maximum landing weight which is 66 tons. Speed correction, we will be adding 5 knots to our speed which is the standard on Airbus unless you have any non-normal. So as a result we have 5 additional knots so plus 90 meters. For every 1000 feet above sea level, we add 50 meters. Rachi and Imphal both are approximately 2000 feet above mean sea level. As a result, we will be adding 100 meters to our calculation. For the wind, let us assume, because we want to be conservative, let us assume the tailwind is approximately 5 knots. If you have 5 knots of tailwind, we need to add 130 meters. For every 10 degrees Celsius above ISA, we add 50 meters meters now this is a calculation which i don't really want to tell you how i do it but in this particular case for rachi i will be adding 150 meters assuming the hottest possible temperatures in rachi also for slope we add 10 meters but rachi actually has an upslope so that's actually an advantage and helps you stop the aircraft but being conservative i will not be applying any corrections for slope Thrust reverser has no corrections, we are not doing an overweight landing. So as you can see the total comes out to 1840 meters. So if you do a flaps full landing with auto brakes medium, your Airbus A320 will require 1840 meters of the runway to stop. So now let's calculate how much distance will be required for a flaps free landing. I will not bore you with the calculations, I'll just put in the figures and give you the total. So as you can see with flaps 3 and auto brakes medium, Airbus A320 requires 1940 meters of the runway to stop. Now we need to multiply these calculated distances by a factor of 15% or we need to increase these distances by 15% as per regulatory authorities as per DGCA and Airbus to make our calculations more conservative. So you know just in case the winds are different or you end up at a higher speed over the runway to cater for all these exigencies we increase these calculated distances by 15% and the resultant value that we get is known as FLD factored landing distance. So now we'll multiply these two distances by 15% and as a result with flaps full we get 2116 meters and with flaps 3 we get 2231 meters. Now we will compare these calculated required distances with what is available at Rachi and Imphal. So from our AIP data, we find out that the landing distance available at Rachi for runway 31, which is the ILS runway, is 2713 meters and at Imphal runway 04, which is again the ILS runway, available distance is 2746 meters. If you compare these distances, we find out that landing at Rachi with flaps full gives us an additional 597 meters of the runway which we are not using. If you land with flaps 3, you have 482 meters of the runway to spare. In Imphal, landing with flaps full, we should have 630 meters of the runway unused. And landing at Imphal with flaps 3, 515 meters of the runway will be unused. Very clear from these calculations, flaps full consumes 115 meters less of the runway flaps 3 will make you run for 115 meters more on the runway but as you can see in both the cases we have more than sufficient runway still remaining for our landing if you do the same calculations for a wet runway the runway available is still more than sufficient in both the cases i believe i have made my point I'll see you guys in the next one.